What's up guys? I, it's, I, I'm back with another video. I haven't posted in a while. I've been kind of away, but I'm gonna make, I'm making this video because I have had the fucking, the absolute worst time trying to figure this out. I finally figured it out there is no YouTube videos. There, there's some articles online, but nothing really explains it in like detail. There's not, there, no one explains how to do it. So I've been having an issue. I currently have Starlink. I've been relayed for weeks. I haven't been able to mine. As you can see, look at my fucking thing. It's, I haven't been able to mine. I finally am unrelayed today. Finally. I've been trying and trying and trying. I finally got it. I finally figured out how to get unrelayed. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. It's pretty easy. It's cheap, like $30, $40. Um, but even if you have... I don't, I don't know what other routers would you'd be relayed on, but if you're having trouble getting unrelayed, this will fix all of your issues because it fixed mine. So uh, let's. I'm gonna switch my phone. Show you guys what I'm doing. So what I'm holding in my hand is a mango router. You can purchase this for twenty six dollars on Amazon. Basically, what it does is it runs a VPN, um, and then you can port forward. So on my Starlink, I can't port forward because it uses um, like CNAT or some. It uses some sort of different. It's not a regular router. Let's just put it that way. And so what you do is you plug your router, you, you plug it in here into the WAN, and then you plug your miner into the LAN port here. Um, or you can use Wi-Fi. This has Wi-Fi too. You can connect Wi-Fi, connect your router to it, and then connect your miner to it. I'm going to show you how to set this up. It's really easy. It's kind of confusing at first, but I'll walk you guys through it. There's no YouTube video out, so I might as well, I might, might as well be the first person to make a video on how to do this. But let's jump back into the computer and I'll show you how to set this up. Alright, so let's just say you have your Mango router plugged in. You have your your um, router connected to the LAN. You have your Helium Miner connected to the LAN. It's all synced up. You're ready to set it up. What you need to do is go to your computer. Come and you need to connect to it, obviously. So the, when you first connect to it, the default password is going to be in the instruction manual. I think it's good life, but I'm not entirely sure. But just go connect to it. Okay, once you are connected to your Mango router, you want to go to 192.168.8.1. And here is... You should be logged into your um, your router, like your, your modem or whatever. And then... <clears throat> so... Once you have everything set up, so like you got your Ethernet plugged in, and then you got your Helium Miner connected to this, you everything is set up now. You you have your Miner has Internet, except it's relayed still, right? So now what you want to do is go to OVPN.com. I'll leave this link in the description. Um, it's like eleven eleven dollars a month, or if you want to pay for a year, it's like a hundred or something. Um, but that's what you have to pay. I don't know if there's there might be other cheaper services out there. It's just OP, OVPN works. I know works for me and it, you know, WireGuard works and all that. So I just use this. So once you bought the subscription or whatever, you want to come down here and make sure you buy um, public IPv4. I think this is like two or three dollars a month. Make sure you buy, you come here and hit purchase this add on. Uh, once you bought that, you want to then go um, click open settings and then down here, make sure you select your closest server for protocol select wireguard um, once that is done come over here and hit configuration files um, actually let me let me delete or go to wireguard configuration files um, select ipv4 generate a key and you just create a key and then hit download now it downloaded this um, little file here you can just X out of OPVN. You don't need it anymore. Go back to your router. Come over here to VPN. Um, click WireGuard. And then here, I'm gonna I'm gonna delete mine. Don't I'm gonna delete mine. So I'm gonna so this is what yours looks like. So hit set up WireGuard manually. Hit configuration. Now all you want to do is open up the file you just the file you just downloaded. Copy copy what was in there. And paste it into WireGuard and hit next and name it. I'm just going to name it Miami 
uh, US, something like that. Hit add. Um, and then make sure you check this. Make sure that's on. Click connect. And then give it a minute. <clears throat> and then this, when, when this turns green, that means it's on. And you can check that by going to what's my IP, what's my IP, and Miami, Florida. Perfect. This is working. Go to click more settings, LAN IP. And you have to create a static IP for your, um, your uh, Helium miner. So go to clients, um, write down your miner's IP and MAC address. So mine's right here. Once you have those saved or written down, go to LAN IP. Um, put them both in, or you can just select it on the drop down. Hit add. Once it once it's down here, now your Helium miner will have a static IP address. Your IP won't change; it'll stay the same. Now go to firewall and name it whatever you want. Um, select TCP slash UDP, um, and then for external zone, you want to select WireGuard. And then for port, you know, you put 44158, leave that. For your internal IP, select your miner's IP, the same one that we found in clients. And then put the 44158 port there. Hit add. It should show up here. Now, when you go to portchecker.co, um, hit use current IP, 44158, check. Port is now open. We are good to go. If we go to, if you go and check your miner, it should be, if this says open, give it 24 hours. Your miner should be unrelayed by then. If not, I mean, add me on Discord or something. I don't, I can probably help you. But if this is open, your miner should be not, should be unrelayed. Your miner shouldn't be relayed. Um, so you can basically do this fucking, you can buy another one of these routers if you have another, um, miner that's relayed by another one of these routers go through the same process do it all over again it's pretty easy not it was this was complicated at first because it, it was all coming at me at once there's no youtube videos there were a couple articles i found none of them were really detailed like none of them really showed you what to do they were just kind of written out and they weren't that good but hopefully this video helps people who are having the same issue i am um but feel free to subscribe or like. I'm going to probably try and make some more helium content. I like helium mining. Hopefully I stay at it. I have like three or four miners on the way. So I got some antennas too. Um, so hit the follow or hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys later.